Turning now to crime, a court judge today denied bail reduction for a man accused of sexually assaulting a woman in her own home. Xavier Swafford is charged with several counts of sex assault, kidnapping and burglary. He allegedly followed a woman to her home on Woolsey Street last month, held her at knife point and forced his way into the house. Swafford's bail is set at $750,000 and he's scheduled to be back in court on Wednesday. And on the Big Island, a man accused of beating and sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend is searching for a private attorney. Court documents filed today show David Paulino had a conflict of interest with his previously appointed public defender. That attorney had represented him in a private practice for an older case. Paulino is charged with abuse, sexual assault and terroristic threatening and is being held on $123,000 bail and is scheduled to be back in court on Wednesday. And also on Hawaii Island, police are searching for a suspect accused of theft. The police department reports this man on your screen stole the wallet from a person on East Maka'ala Street on June 24th. The alleged thief then used the victim's credit cards for seven different transactions at several businesses in Hilo. If you have any information, you're asked to call police at 935-3311. A 38-year-old man was killed in a vehicle crash in Waianae last night. One of the police report the man is driving on Waianae Valley Road at around 9.30 and went past a red light onto Farrington Highway. A pickup truck that had the green light struck the vehicle. The 38-year-old driver was taken to the hospital in critical condition where he later died. Two children and a woman who were also in his vehicle were taken to the hospital in serious condition. The truck driver also suffered serious injuries but was treated on scene and HPD is investigating whether speed, alcohol or drugs played a factor in this crash. A 64-year-old moped rider was also killed in Waianae yesterday morning. Honolulu police say a vehicle turning into a private driveway hit the moped rider on Farrington Highway near Guard Street. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition and later died. This marks the 29th and 30th traffic fatalities on Oahu this year. There were 29 at this time last year.